the mind games, Paul. <laughs> Where's Mrs. Creature? Yeah, she's never late. What if something's happened to her? <laughs> I'm more worried about that. <laughs> I am Edgybot 4000, designed by Wilbur Corp. Wilbur Corp? That's Walter's dad's company. No wonder he was looking so smug. I have also been programmed to identify all known variances of misbehavior as I'm fitted with sensors to be able to detect whispering and chewing. I was only questioning authority. Please proceed to the headmaster's office. My brother said the headmaster has a scorpion in a tank that he uses for punishments. I never want to go back there. Well, you'd better get used to it. Edubot is ultra advanced. The second you put one tiny toe out of line, it'll be on you like that mangy mutt on a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> that metalhead's no match for me. We'll see, Dennis. We'll see. Saw it. Right, Nasha? Hey, Dennis! Nice moves on that skateboard! Blam! <laughs> okay, so post his script. No props, I'll just avoid him forever. Hey! Finally off me, boy! Blam! 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 Huh? Hold it, lad! What do you think you're doing, eh? Not almost falling off those wheels! Blam! <sighs> I get it. I'm a total guff donkey. Skate trick genius, more like it. I should arrest you for being criminally watchable. Huh? And finally, Beano Town News. What would you say if I asked for the first interview with Dare Dennis? I'd say, who's Dare Dennis? Your fans are already making Dare Dennis tributes. <laughs> fans? What can I say, Anne? Except, blam. So, Dare Dennis, how did you come up with that catchphrase? Just use my blam imagination. And what have you got planned for your next trick? Oh, uh, something blamazing. <laughs> Do you think he'll still be embarrassed about the whole blam situation? Nah, Dennis has a thick skin. Like this glue. <laughs> Howdy, trick lovers. Dear Dennis, just wanted to say... Whoops, sorry, blab! You imbecile! Blam? Blam, 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 blam! Are you okay? Any cranial trauma? Dear Dennis, oh, could you sing this? It's a uh, for a friend. I, she loves your tricks. Blam. Creature can't be a Dennis fan. Actually, we prefer to be called Dead Enthusiasts. And finally, Beano Town News. Dare Dennis, can you ever get any more daring than that trick? Absolutely. They don't call me scared, Dennis, do they? So, Dennis is a celebrity now. Yes, he's a hoot. Uh, I mean, the opposite of a hoot. He's hootless. That's right, Bertram. He's insufferable. So... I think it's time his 15 minutes of fame were cut short. <laughs> this party's going to be awesome! As awesome as my next video? I'm thinking... Sharks! No! You do know not everything's about 
Dare Dennis. Of course. It's also about the new Dare Dennis talking action figure. Plausible elbows and authentic Dare Dennis phrases. I'm Blamby Dexterous. Do we sit and watch this happen? I say no. Maybe we can't stop Ralph getting fired, but we can make his last day at Bash Street School the best 24 hours of pranking he's ever had. And I know just how we'll do it. This is what we're going to do for Ralph. Whoa. He'd never be allowed back in Bash Street School again. What does it matter? If he's fired anyway. Exactly! Let's give him a day of pranking top top with the biggest prank of all. Nasha, go fetch! Boy, <laughs> come back here with that! Nice moves, Nasha. Hi, Paul. <sighs> oh, haven't you lot caused enough trouble for one day? We, we know about Posh Street School and we're. Really, really sorry. If it weren't for you lot messing about, I wouldn't have to go to Post Street. I tell you, that place is awful. The kids walk in straight lines between classes. No. They speak fluent algebra. No. They don't think whoopee cushions are funny. No. This is really bad. It's all our fault. We're so, so sorry. Oh. Okay. That's why we've decided to spend the little time we have left with you doing what you love best. Pranking! Well, I, I suppose I could spare a few minutes over lunch if it's for pranking. You know, I haven't got long, though. Don't say that! Oh? oh? I'll punch you, Brody. Ah, hard pack at these end. Thanks, kids. Excellent pranking. I bet they don't get up to shenanigans like that at Post Street School. I can't bear to think about you there. We don't want you to go. Ooh. Oh, it's too late. So long, prankaloons. You better get back to school. Lunch break's nearly over. Mm. He was a great caretaker. A great prankster. I'm going to miss him so much. We've still got one last great prank to do. Bring on the supreme stinktastic finale. Dennis singing with a dinner lady. <laughs> FYI, Olive's won awards. Oh, please. I could beat that old slop server in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Oh, hold on. You can't. You don't have a band. <laughs> Daddy, it's me. I want the best band money can buy and I want it now. <sighs> I'll show that Dennis and his bin makers. Grey bear, it is great. Splash it all over your plate. You better believe it. Don't be naive. It's the best of all the tastes. With gravy on your food, you'll be a real cool dude. A sauce like no other. My sisters and brothers you know what you have to choose. You're the best! I can see it now! And first prize goes to... Dennis and the Dig Makers! Oh, no, dearie. First prize will go to Olive and the Dinner Makers! What? I think you'll find the name changes in the contract we signed earlier. Your job is to make sure we win Battle of the Bands. Got it? We'd never compromise our artistic principles for a tacky music competition. Cash! When do we start? Now! No, no, no! Dennis, how many times? You hold the microphone in your left hand. So unprofessional. I can't work like this. I need more gob stoppers. Where are my uh. gob stoppers? 
Stoppers are for Gob Stoppers in duty contract. <laughs> no, no, no! I told you to take the blue ones out first. How am I expected to perform when no one shows any respect to the star? Someone pick those up before I break an ankle. Not you! I need a puppy in my handbag. Get in. Ooh. I think you'll find it's in the contract. No puppy, no singy songy. <laughs> what do you call a cow in a band? I don't know. What do you call a cow in a band? A musician! Stardom's gone to Olive's head. I say we tear up the contract and kick her out. Guys, if we stick to the plan, we can ditch the slop forever. Eating slop was better than this. Oh, come on. Think of all those blandacious new school dinners. <sighs> OK. Thanks, guys. You won't regret it. All right, dearies. It's too much. 